Forty-somethings like me know who Britney Spears is, but I'm not so sure about millennials these days. Spears is approaching middle age. She's got a couple of kids, 10 and 11. Her first big hit was in 1999, way back in the 20th century. She had a number one song five years ago, and she'll never be poor, but I'm not sure how much of a musical force she is anymore. But she apparently has a lot to say about politics, which surprised me. Here, look at what she wrote on Twitter the other day. Enough is enough. Email your senator before tomorrow's vote and tell them to close background check loopholes. Disarm hate. Well, I didn't know you could disarm hate. I'm pretty sure that's a reference to what Spears thinks motivated the Muslim terrorist who attacked the Orlando nightclub, murdering 49 and wounding 53 more. I'm not sure what loophole could have been closed to have stopped that terrorist. He had never committed a crime before that we know of. He was saying lots of crazy things, even to the FBI, who literally interviewed him several times, but they let him go. He still got a gun. So what possible additional layer of scrutiny would have stopped him? Yet another visit from the FBI? See, the problem is you can't disarm hate. Hate is a human emotion that is normal in every person. But in the case of Omar Mateen, he combined his emotion of hatred with the Muslim Koran's prescription for jihad. Unless you're going to screen out Muslims, I'm not quite sure how you're going to catch that. All that would happen if we listened to Professor Spears is that it would be harder for law-abiding people to get guns. They're the only people who would follow the law. Omar Mateen, listen, he didn't follow our laws against murder, so not sure if another piece of paper would have stopped him either. But since when does Britney Spears dislike people with guns? Check out this great story a few years back from the Daily Mail. Britney Spears was going to church with her armed bodyguards, like you and I do. And a, and a photographer just wanted to take pictures of it, just from the outside. It's not like he burst into the church or anything. He wasn't being rude. He was just photographing Spears going in. But check out that madness. Britney Spears, armed bodyguard, pulled out his gun and aimed it at the photographer like a crazy man, as if he was like a SWAT team cop taking down, I don't know, a terrorist. No, that guy was just part of the paparazzi. The people who actually made Britney Spears rich and famous. I'm not even talking about how out of control Spears' own hired gunmen are. I'm just pointing out that obvious fact that she herself has gunmen. Yeah, I think the thing to do with celebrities is pay attention to what they do, not what they say. Here, let's wrap up with a few seconds of Britney Spears' video, Criminal. Yeah, Britney Spears doesn't mind guns. Just guns that you have. For the Rebel Dot Media, I'm Ezra Levant. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.